For a guy who has an average score of 8.4, has never dropped a single anime, and who's given nearly 200 tens out, it's very rare for me to dislike an anime. Even rarer to genuinely detest a show. I mean, of the handful of shows I hate, most are for waifu reasons, adaptation quality, or other reasons that most people consider minor. But among those awful anime, only one has pushed my no drop rule to the absolute limit, Gibiate. The beginning of 2020 was a dark time. Global shutdowns, toilet paper shortages, everything we'd been looking forward to being delayed, but his darkest moment was arguably 10 p.m. on Wednesdays from July to September, when Gibiate episodes dropped. On the surface, Gibiate has an interesting story, a reverse Inuyasha setup where samurai are pulled from feudal Japan into a post-apocalyptic modern Tokyo to fight monsters and find a cure for a doomsday virus. That's about all it has, though. The characters were bland cardboard cutouts with no personality, relatability, or reason to care about them. It gets worse, though. The term anime implies hand-drawn or computer-generated animation. There was none of that here. I kid you not, the movements in the show were legitimately a PowerPoint slide. In fact, that's probably too much of a compliment. It's probably more accurate to compare it to one of those sketchbooks you open up with your fingers and let the pages go by really quickly to create the illusion of movement. To top it off, the monster designs in the show implemented the worst use of computer-generated imaging that I've ever seen in my life. I mean, seriously, some of the scenes look like they were from Super Nintendo or PlayStation 1 cutscenes. In a show that's heavily dependent on CGI for impractical character models, this essentially made it unwatchable. The only saving grace of any of the art in this show was the female main character's design, which sadly was the only thing she had going for her. The story, while having an interesting setup, never fulfills its potential. It's full of plot holes, nonsensical ass pulls, gratuitous gore, and dialogue that will legitimately make you shudder from secondhand embarrassment. And the god-awful animation made it impossible to take anything seriously. I mean, if the CGI and writing weren't enough, they couldn't even be bothered to make an opening with lyrics. Instead, opting for an instrumental opening by Sugihara Yasuhiro, who's famous for doing work on some Sega games back in the day. At a certain point, myself and the 10 other brave souls who subjected ourselves to this torture week after week and participated in the My Anime List discussion threads jointly agreed to put our heads down and push through, purely to see how bad this train wreck could get. I remember at one point legitimately thinking that the show could be a money laundering operation for the Yakuza, and the next day an animator who actually worked on the anime reached out to me on My Anime List and told me that he felt the same as the production was a total mess. It should also be noted that this was one of the first so-called Crunchyroll originals, and have been hyped up quite a bit on their YouTube channel going into the summer season. I believe Gibiate should be put in a museum, study for all of eternity as a case study of how not to make anime. No one should ever be subjected to watching something so devoid of creativity, effort, and life. This is the complete antithesis of anime, and be glad I watched it so you don't have to.